I'm Joe Bowers. I'm an industrial designer for The Well Collective. What inspires me as an industrial designer is curiosity. The parts of design that appeal to me are just tinkering. Designers, and myself included, tend to break things and see if we can't get them to work better. New tools and new capabilities end up leading to different results. When I found the silhouette, I ended up just drowning in the potential. I'm constantly frustrated that I'm only scratching the surface of the capability of the tool. The silhouette is something that I use almost daily. The first week that we had the silhouette in our studio at my job, a factory had made a mistake. We're running tight on a deadline. We needed to have a final product of the headphone piece that we were working on at a trade show booth. And 3D printing wasn't really an option in this situation. We didn't have three hours, we had 30 minutes. I took the CAD model, I unfolded it, I sent it to the silhouette, it cut it out for me and I taped it up and all of a sudden I had a real prototype of our design intent. And we were able to take that size and make some judgments really quickly and within 30 minutes we had our answer. Something I really enjoy is I fold up geometry. So I'll take platonic solids or complex geodesic surfaces and I'll cat it up, um, unfold it and then have it cut out by the cameo and then assemble it and I learn a lot about geometry. The question I keep asking is how do you make a bowl out of paper? You know, it's a concave surface. It means that the paper has to bend in two directions. I've really enjoyed playing with taking paper and trying to give it properties that it doesn't have naturally. And the silhouette's just the best way to quickly iterate that. It really just comes down to precision. I never want to trust my own hands again. I mean, the benefit that designers can really appreciate when using this machine, or even makers, is knowing that it's going to be accurate, knowing that it's going to save you time, and knowing that you're going to get something in your hands really quickly. What I do is I take my sketch concept, and then I create a 3D model of that concept on my computer in a CAD program. And then I can use my CAD program to actually unfold them into a flat drawing. And I can take that flat drawing and use Silhouette Studio to tell my Cameo to cut that flat model out. And then I can just assemble it myself. When Brock, the founder of Gold Coast, approached me and talked about getting together and collaborating on some skateboard trucks, I brought up to him the idea of using paper as a unique process that might yield different results. Brock really liked that idea. So my name is Brock Harris. I'm one of the co-founders of Gold Coast Skateboards. We've uh, branded ourselves as the design leader in skateboards. My job title is uh, director of product. So I'm in charge of all the skateboard physical attributes. With our factories overseas, it's very expensive with shipping and sample fees. I'd rather bring things in-house, do the prototyping here, figure things out you know, within a day, pull the trigger, then go to production. The silhouette that could rapid prototype, cut it out on vinyl or paper, lay it over one of our concave molds, and then take it downstairs to the wood shop and be able to cut that out is extremely tantalizing. So we actually approached a project on trucks, and the truck ended up being, you know, very planar, very angular, and a different truck than you've ever seen. Glasses are really a lot about the curve, about the thicks, the thins. It just doesn't translate on the screen, if it's going to fit a face. If I were waiting for a factory to create sales samples, it would take weeks in between each design iteration, but during this project, I could do an outline, and then I could print them out and actually see how it fit my face. Almost as soon as I had thought of a different design, I had them in my hands. And then once I had something that I wanted to go with, I could create a 3D model of it and get more physical. For any maker or designer that wants an accessible means of prototyping or modeling on their own, there's really no good excuse for not having a silhouette cameo.